KT News, Nairobi. Fools who lost in the nominations are tonight weighing their options ahead of the May 2nd deadline set by the IEBC. Among them is Nandi Hills MP Alfred Keter, whose ticket to represent UDA in the August polls was revoked by the party. Nairobi ODM Governor Hopeful Tim Wanyonyi is also said to be considering his next political move after Azimio Laumoja won Kenya settled on Polycarp Igade through Jubilee to represent the coalition for Nairobi governorship. Jeff Kirui reports on the details of the latest intrigues. Remember that Dr. Jalango Midiwo will be flying the party ticket for the that's ODM Gem Gem constituency. <laughs> With the April 28th deadline for political parties to submit a list of nominees for the August 9 polls first approaching, focus now shifts to aspirants who felt shortchanged by the party processes. In Nairobi, Westlands MP Tim Wanyonyi was eyeing the governor's seat is among the casualties in Azimula Umoja 1 Kenya after a deal was brokered for Polika Pigade to contest under Jubilee Party, deputized by Philip Kaloki. Since there is no space left for democracy in Jubilee Party, the most honorable thing for us to do is resign from this party. The party primaries have elicited criticisms across the political divide. In UDA, Nandi Hills MP Alfred Keter still pondering his next move after his interim ticket was withdrawn by the party and handed over to his competitor Bernard Kitur. The move leaving Keter only with two options, quit the race or contest as an independent candidate. UDA's decision to use opinion polls in Kamukunzi to pick candidates instead of universal suffrage has further been criticized. A section of aspirants saying they were should change by the process. If they don't change this mess, they will forget Kamukunzi as a constituency and more than and more than. I think the party has messed with the nominations as the UDA fraternity. We are going to talk to our supporters, we are going to address them on the next move which is going to be messy and it is going to have some repercussions on the party as well. Nairobi's ODM nominations have also been faulted. Viwandani MCA David Wambuambidhi alleging interference by party officials. Tulipiga kura vituo mbili, bada vituo tatu, na tuka raise complaint. Pale eh, tablet zao kwa vituo mbili zilikuwa tablet mbili, bada tablet ine. Na walitumia password moja kwa tablet tano. Viwandani tunataka walete ballot boxes atutaki mambo ya digital. Watulete free and fair nomination. In game constituency, ODM Party National Elections Board has resolved to issue direct tickets. This is after the win of current MP Elisha Odiambo was disputed by his competitor Jalango Midiwo. It has been a long treacherous journey. First, as you may be aware, a number of my colleagues were given direct nomination. I was subjected to a nomination process, which I won. Then my opponent immediately went to the tribunal, complaining that the exercise was not done well. The tribunal made that decision, acknowledging that my victory was rightfully so. In Langata, an aspirant Musaria Kahiga Siongo has disputed Felix Odiwar alias Jalango's win, citing inconsistencies with the number of members who voted for MCA candidates and those for members of parliament. Political parties have until Thursday to submit their list of nominees to IEBC. As for those contesting as independent candidates, IEBC has set May 2nd as the last day to submit their documents. Jeff Kirui, KT News.